Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute here with another climate fact check. Today, we're going to look at something called the urban heat island effect, which often gets left out of the discussion when people are claiming temperatures are breaking records. The urban heat island effect has a big non-climate related influence on official temperature measurements. Urban heat island is a term used to describe the influence that population centers like cities and suburbs have on local temperature. The temperature in cities is higher, sometimes much higher, than in surrounding rural areas because of all that concrete, asphalt, and even air conditioner exhausts and the heat produced by machinery. This is especially true for nighttime temperatures. During the day, concrete and asphalt are heated by the sun and they gradually release that heat well into the night, warming up the surrounding air and rising nighttime temperature well above the temperatures in grassy fields and other less developed areas. You can test this out for yourself simply by walking on asphalt barefoot on a summer evening and then stepping into sand or dirt. The pavement is hotter. This effect becomes a problem when the temperature stations used to record long-term temperature trends are influenced by it. Research has found that nearly 90% of US temperature stations are poorly sited, located in places where the urban heat island effect is a problem. For instance, many temperature stations are located in what used to be a grassy field, but over time, buildings and parking lots popped up around it, inflating or biasing the rate of warming recorded by the station. Some researchers have found urban heat islands are responsible for almost half of reported U.S. warming. This isn't to say that there is no natural warming, but data show stations that are not corrupted by the urban heat island effect report much less warming than the biased or compromised stations. This isn't just a problem in America either. Other parts of the world have similar siting problems for their weather stations, with devices located on airport tarmacs and other terrible spots for accurate readings. My challenge to you is next time the local weather channel reports a record-breaking high temperature reading, check to see how many temperature stations in your area actually back that measurement up and where they're sited. Often you'll find the official temperature for an entire area is recorded at an airport, subject to a significant urban heat island effect. That's all I have for this fact check. For the sources used as reference for this video, you can check out climateataglance.com, where you can also download a free copy of the book Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students. If you prefer paper, you can purchase a hard copy on Amazon. We also have an app available called Climate at a Glance for Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching.